Hello everyone. So today I would like to make a video based around what has been happening recently, at least in animation. And one of the things that I think is the most contributing factor behind why animation nowadays has just become boring and maybe not as, you know, superb or, or high quality in my, in my way of thinking is that animation has become so easy to produce. When you have less challenges to work with and when things become con more convenient and easier, then there's less things that you actually have to do in order to get your vision out there. And because of that, it is able to captivate you with its presentation, but most of the time it's not able to give your expectations that solidity. And I feel like this is why animation in its current form is not good for telling stories because Oftentimes, when I when I see uh, stories being told with, especially like 2D animation, oftentimes I find that it it's able to reel you in, but as as soon as you start watching it, it's, it's the you know the placebo starts to wear off. It's not able to keep my interest, and yeah, I, I feel like animation has been like that for a little bit now. And I obviously I think it's a good thing that animation has changed over time. I'm not saying it's a bad thing that things have become more convenient because it means that people have to, you know, have to do less crunch hours and less deadlines and whatever you, you might say. But at a certain point, life isn't about just getting rid of any obstacle in your way. It's also about conquering those obstacles. The people that actually are good at telling stories are often not the ones that are creating these stories. And you get a lot of these products from all of these other people and now it's not even a matter of who is right to make a story, who wants to make a story, who has the passion, the dedication, and all of these things in order to make the story. It's more about just getting the people that have some, I don't know, some semi-attachment to want to create a story or to put some of their messaging in the show. And I don't know, I don't want animation to just be a companion piece. This is what I want to say. Animation should not just be a com companion piece to what a person does. Because oftentimes I feel like whatever the creator does is often what the show is associated with and not actually standing on its own. You know, this is why I feel like I can kind of talk about Alex Hirsch because Alex Hirsch, if you guys don't know, he's the creator of Gravity, Gravity Falls. And I oftentimes, like even my last uh, video, I talked about how I didn't like that he was doing a certain decision. But I still like the show, obviously. I, I still like the show, even if I don't agree with every of the creator's decision making. I still like the show. And that's because the show is bigger than Alex Hirsch. It's bigger than this team of people that are working on it. It's bigger than the messaging. So yeah, uh, animation recently, at least 2D animation, feels like it's dying for me. It feels like it's just not going in the way that it probably should go. And I just feel like when's the last time in recent memory that I thought about a show that I remember watching and enjoying has been a very long time. The most I probably have watched recently is there's been a few indie shows or series that I've seen on YouTube. There's been some a few pilots as well that I've seen. Uh, like, for example, there's one called that I remember watching. It was like a pilot. It was called Long Gone Gulch. It was like a Western show that I actually I did like it. I don't know where that's going right now. I don't know if that went anywhere, but yeah, there was a pilot for that. And then there was also, oh yeah, Lackadaisy. It's a show about cats that are in the Prohibition era, but they're kind of like, the cats are kind of like, basically just people. I think the creator said that, that they're just supposed to be like people, but they just kind of take the appearance of a, a cat in the show. But yeah, it's basically about cats in the Pro Prohibition era. And I actually did like that. Uh, I watched a bit of the pilot and I know they're making more of that, so that's good. There's also other shows like Myrtle Drones. I haven't watched any of that or, you know, whatnot, but... And then there's also other shows that I've watched, like The Digital Circus. I, I do like The Digital Circus. I, I don't think it's good as a series. I think if the creator and the people that made the show made it as just a, like, you know, a short, like... Uh, what's the word? A mini series. yeah. If they made it like a mini series. I would like to show. I think it would be good as a miniseries or a short film, perhaps. But I don't know. I, I don't really see it. I, I just don't really see how it works. I like 
After watching the pilot and after watching the second episode, I just don't see how it works as a full on series. To me, it feels like it's super, it's super limited itself. I think the show definitely limited itself right, right out of the gate. And I don't really think it's able to, to have a full length series. I don't know. To me, it doesn't seem like it would be designed for that. And I don't really think it, it would be good as a full length series. Now, I, I do agree that like the pilot is is good, right? The pilot is good. Now, if they had more time to work on the pilot and make it into like almost like a movie, I think that'd be good. But instead, they're like, oh, let's make this as a series. Because again, when you involve their motivations other than creating a piece of art, when you involve money, especially, you tend to sacrifice the product. In the video I deleted, I talked about that I believe that art should not have money in its in, in any of the process. I don't think it should have money in, in any of it because when you involve money in it, it messes with things. It definitely defeats the purpose of trying to create something artistic. To be honest with you, I don't know. I just think that the show is already trying to extend its lifetime to have all these other episodes. And I just don't think it fits that like serious like I, I just don't see it as how it could be a series maybe i'm wrong on that maybe i know there's a lot of people that are excited for it and people that like the show but i don't know i just don't think the creator of of uh, that series the digital circus for example is has created stuff like run mo for example i really like that it was it was a short film but it was you know it was good it was you know a little animated film and i think that they this is their first thing that they're doing that is outside of that and i don't know i'm not saying that they couldn't do it but i just think that this is one of the first things that i've seen that they're doing that is outside of that and your narrative is going to become very crowded when you have all these clashing things going on uh, and i feel like the reason why the entertainment isn't good is because people have gotten lazy it's because the wrong people are creating shows that don't need to be creating. Like, I'm not saying that they don't deserve a show, but they're, you know, some people deserve to create shows more than other people, my opinion. And that's why I think a lot of the animation industry right now is having so many different issues because you're giving the wrong power to the wrong people. There is many other people out there that deserve to create shows that are not, that are not, you know, part of the industry that deserve to create shows, like especially indie people they deserve to have a show because they've dedicated a lot of their life to creating uh, concepts and creating things like this for their show and you know creating a a lore for example and I, i've seen people like especially online that uh, no one knows about but i think they deserve to have something right because they've put a lot of their time and energy and i just think that when it comes to to entertainment because it's such a passionate medium, I think passion, the per people, person's passion should be what is valued most out of anything else. Because entertainment value is obviously a, a big important thing. But again, if these things are supposed to be art, if we're supposed to be looking at these things as art and not just entertainment, then I think we should accept that they want to, you know, that they desire to create. Not out of the necessity of wanting to make, you know, eight seasons, you know, and come along for the ride. A lot of people blame the recent public world event that happened, but I don't think that is really to blame. I think a lot of people just blame it on that, and then they're like, ah, oh, well, there's no other explanation needed. But the reality is, is that it's a problem with people. Because even in the hardest times, like even in like war, people were creating cartoons. And that's kind of the war is what birthed all these good, good things, right? Uh, whenever the war happened, uh, like, you know, like, you know, almost half a century ago, there was a war, you know, there's been wars that are going on and there was a lot going on at those times, but they were still, the people that were anim animators were still pushing through and still doing stuff. But I feel like because we've become so accustomed to convenience over anything else, we've really stopped trying to challenge ourselves and trying to go beyond what our own limitations are because we are just comfortable watching things and enjoying things and we don't really have that sort of that sort of standard in us because we just put everything in, in our eyes right we're not having a standard of like oh well i, I want to watch this or i want to watch this we just put anything in front of our eyes and then we're we're happy and content which that's not a bad thing necessarily but i think we should have higher standards and i think hu humanity should have higher standards for what we're watching
It just feels like people have been except are under the knowledge of, oh, well, nothing can be created new. So that, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try to create something new. Like that's basically what people say. Okay. This is not real guys. <laughs> like people say, oh, well, everything has been created. No, that's not even true. There's ad infinitum of possibility that exists in, in, every, in each one of us. So I'm not going to accept the explanation that you can't create something because you, you think that it's been done before. You think that everyone else is doing it. And for the people that do want to talk about, you know, saying like, oh, well, just nothing's good, you know, and just have that mindset. Well, if nothing's good, then make something that's good. Don't just complain about how other people are not making things that are good. Actually do it, put it in your own hands, put that in your own hands to do something good. Don't just complain about how other people are not doing anything good. So again, it's two, it's a two way streak. I think it's rewarding when you have something that is challenging. And I think ultimately you triumphing with that, you getting through that and you overcoming something that has been really hard to overcome, like your fears or if you're able to measure up to things, I think that ultimately you are the decider of that. You can't let other people perception form your own reality of how you should be doing things. And I think when you understand that you are the one who is in control, you are able to take hold of that and actually do things with your, with your life and actually go on and create things of your own and stuff like that. So I would just say that for the people that are complaining or the people that are just not doing anything really to change the situation, I think that animation in itself, well, maybe it deserves to die. Maybe it's something that deserves to die because if there's any, if no one is going out and, you know, doing what they can to create a show that is worthwhile, then may, maybe it, animation deserves to die. Maybe it's something that shouldn't live on, especially when you get profit involved, especially when you get all these other things involved that distract from what you're trying to do with your show and the vision that you're trying to create. It will always distract from it. And this is why I'm always against uh, like art and money being involved at all, because it'll always lead to when something that can easily just be a mini series, it has to go on for like, you know, ages and ages and ages. And then even then when it's over, there's no end to things because people tell the same stories over and over because they don't actually want to ha have to cha challenge themselves and create something new because they're scared of what other people might think of them if they went on and they created something new or that you know m m maybe at a certain point they just become, become comfortable with doing something and only care about the quantity of, of of their work rather than actually putting in time and dedication i think it's more honorable when you actually go out and instead of thinking about oh i'm going to create all these series in my lifetime think about just creating a, you know the you know you know however long it takes if it takes three years to make a series that's fine if it takes five years to make a series that's fine but just keep at it just keep at, at, at just doing what you want to do when you're such accustomed to a bad smell you you you, you don't even recognize that that smells bad a subpar showing whenever we're actually watching the show and i and i hate to say that people's own passions have been just not good but like a lot of this stuff a lot of the stuff a lot of the people that can claim that they have passion end up getting giving us something that is not good and i get it there is limitations but you need to work be able to work past your own limitations and go beyond that to create a good show because i've not seen anything that you know that i've really liked in a long time and i don't know i don't think it's that's my problem I don't think like I'm a picky person that is purposely not looking out for shows that are very good, but like, I just think that animation has changed and 2D animation has becoming more and more and more redundant to the point where it's not even valuable anymore. And not even people, most people are not even using 2D animation anymore. They're using some weird fusion between like, it's like a 2.5 5D experience every time I'm watching something. And it's like, where is all this 2D stuff? You know, that we, you know, and I get it's hard to, to do 2D. I get 2D is a form of art that might just kind of be forgotten about because it's not something that is easy to create or, you know, whatever. But I, I think we should not be looking for convenience. We should not be looking for that because what we are finding is we are finding results that are not good when we're look we're, when we're only looking to create a show that is serviceable and not looking to create a show that is good. And I think that we need to get past this because if we're not going to get past this, then everything that we're going to watch, you know, what kids are going to be growing up with are not going to be 
as good as they could be because we are not doing our best because we want to be more comfortable and we want to be more lazy and we don't actually want to have to put in any of the effort that we need to put into when we're creating these shows myself as a show creator that i'm trying to create my own like you know show I, there's a lot that i'm doing and I, and, I, and i actually do care about it and i want it to be good and that's why i've been holding off on it on this channel and i, I do want to release the few the first few episodes but it's been very difficult to get any ground on it because i feel like i'm fighting a losing battle with it and i, I really do want to continue it but again it, it's difficult i, I need to figure out what I'm going to be do be doing for it and once I'm done I will definitely have something prepared for you here that you can watch on this channel that will be something that is worth your time and I, I it's hard for me to try to create that but I'm trying to my, my very best I'm trying to do that it's just a lot to get through it's not so much the editing that's a problem it's just that I'm trying to like I basically trying to get the presentation down and so I want to put some a little bit of emphasis on that but I, I do think that this, the but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I know it's pretty long, but hopefully that you got something from this, if not anything. But yeah, thank you for watching.